If you are an Android developer, you might have come across times when you are building a new feature, but the API you need isn't ready yet. Or maybe you need to test different scenarios with various API responses. In these cases, you need a tool that makes it easy to change or even replace HTTP responses for your app, like 401 response code handling or any internal server error. To handle these situations, you need something simple that lets you customize or fully change HTTP responses. When you search for tools, you will probably find popular ones like Charles or Requestly. These tools are great, but they have a big downside. They are complicated to set up with proxies and certificates. That's where the OK HTTP request modifier comes in. This easy-to-use Android library lets you change HTTP responses without all the setup hassle. No more words. Let's review the library in action. I have an example project with one activity. For simplicity, there are no view models, repositories, or dependency injections. In real life, it should be somewhere in repository or dependency module, depending on your structure. The app has only one button that sends only one request for a static JSON file. We can test it with OK HTTP Profiler. I click on the button and the request appears in the Profiler info window. The structure of the request is an object and each field is an array of integers. Now I can copy the URL Open OK HTTP Request Modifier and pass it there. I can also set the request to return a 401 response code. Let's send one more request. And we see that this request fails immediately with the 401 status code. Let's set status code 200, replace the response body and set a custom JSON like custom JSON true. When I repeat our request, I see that it was changed to our custom JSON. This feature is convenient when I need to mock API, for example. Finally, if I want to replace a pattern of URLs, I can use regex instead of URL. For example, I can replace colors.json with dot asterisk, and all URLs that match this pattern will be changed. Let's set the request to return a 500 response code. If I send a request, I can see the 500 response codes in the request's profiler. Important! If you override a request, it won't make a real call. Instead, it will immediately return your custom date. In a nutshell, that's it for the request modifier. Now, let's review how to install it. There will be three simple steps to install the library. And step one, include the library into your app module's build.gradle file. The latest version of the library can be found on the Maven Central or in the GitHub repository. As you can see, we have two implementations. The no OP version is used for the release build type. It has the same interfaces and public classes, but with an empty implementation. This will guarantee that no one will modify your requests in a release build. Step 2. In this step, we need to add an interceptor to the OK HTTP client in the code. In the method where you have an OK HTTP client builder, Call add interceptor function with OK HTTP request modifier interceptor as an argument. The request modifier can also be used with retrofit as well. In this case, we need to set the interceptor to the OK HTTP client and set this client for retrofit. For security reasons, I recommend enabling this interceptor only for debug builds. Progwar will also remove it from the release build. The last step is to call the OK HTTP profiler settings activity from 
debug menu or any other UI. This activity lets you easily add and modify requests, specifying the desired response bodies and code. This intuitive UI makes it easy for developers to define and manage custom responses without diving deep into the code, boosting productivity and making debugging more efficient. And that's it. Thanks for watching and let me know what you think about it in the comments.